Okay. So let's talk about this for just a second before we do nails and stuff. This is bothering you when you wear your shoes. If if they if they if they're tight. If shoes. anything rubs on it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we had been talking about we in order to give this room to come down, we would have to fix the bunion to give that room to come down. All right. And that would be six or eight weeks in a post op shoe right. or walking cast. And then the other option would be just to take the toe off, in which case it would be ten days waiting for that skin to heal. So those were kind of the options that we discussed. Yeah. Yeah. And uh you know, and, and the, the choice is completely yours, given how much walking you're doing, which isn't a ton, and you're not running marathons and like mm -hmm. that. Um, completely up to you, but, you know, once people get used to the idea, a lot of people will choose just to remove that. And then that's 10 days in a post-op shoe as opposed to two months. No squeak today. <laughs> Do you have any questions about the surgery one way or the other? No, uh, no. I have a friend who had the bunion removed and um, <clears throat> but she and she was in a in a shoe for six weeks or so. Mm -hmm. I do know that. And my sister had the toe removed. Okay. And she was really happy with that, so So you know somebody who's done it both both ways. Both yeah. ways. And you're leaning toward just take the toe. I am, kind of. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you were 30, it would be a different conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Because what's the possibility, if you do the bunion and uh, bunion and then slide the toe over or whatever, mm -hmm. what's the chances of it recrossing at her age? Probably not. Yeah. Not, uh, I mean, if you do that at 30, is there a chance that they get, they go back? Yeah. I mean, if you, if you do the bunion surgery, and, and fix the deformity, but you don't correct the mechanics of the foot that allowed it to happen in the first place, mm -hmm. i.e. put somebody into orthotics afterwards, you are almost guaranteed that it will come back because you haven't addressed what caused it. So, um, so what, what you do if you, if you do the bunion one, you just correct the well, with the bunion surgery, it would require cutting this bone to move it over and then probably also cutting this bone a little bit to bring it back that way, just to give this enough room to come down mm -hmm. and then doing a hammer toe surgery on this one to straighten it. So um, the, bone, the bone work is what takes so long because you have to wait the six to eight weeks or in our, shall I say, more seasoned population. Um, it it could take even longer if the bone takes longer to heal. Whereas if you just take the toe, oh, we then have to it's the, you just take the toe and the bone doesn't heal because you cut it off and it doesn't heal. And then it's just the skin healing. So it's a lot less of a surgery mm -hmm. and less recovery time. Right. And then, I'm not going to use your name, but Tell us how old are you? 86. 86? Okay, yeah. So that would have something to do with the choice that you would make. The surgeries have gone really well for me so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason to do anything more then you have to do to get the outcome you want, which is that toe to not be. Right, if you told me that you had bunion pain every day, that would be different. But that's not what your pain is. I'll pay close attention. Yeah. Between now and the t next time that we see you, and then I'll decide, but. Yeah, you know, and if questions come up that would help you decide one way or the other, feel free to call or email me, or come back in. Now, are you driving? 
Mary is driving today. Okay, so but do you drive still? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, but but it's your left foot, so that wouldn't affect right driving unless you drive a. No, it's it's I always drive. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Because there's a limitation then with the, if it's right foot. Right. If it's the right foot, there's no driving until you're out of the surgical shoe. Right. And, you know, if you fix the bunion, that's something that people really have to consider mm -hmm. because that's six to eight weeks of no driving. Mm -hmm. And for our 30-year-old crowd, that's tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah. Although, you know, now with Uber, it's way easier. Mm -hmm. I bet that's true. You know, I don't think about that. I bet that is true. Yeah. All right, so we're going to smooth everything, the nails down. Thank you. 
Alright. And are there any on the tips of these two? This is a little bit here. So you're going to go out and enjoy this first oh, nice day? day for sure. When the sun finally does come out. <laughs> now what are you putting on these? Anything? No, what should I be putting on them? Well, I put a lotion on, a foot lotion. Okay. But, um, I didn't know. There's something special I should be using. You know, there there are actually some creams that can help break down some of the thick skin. Um, and I would be happy to prescribe that or good. So I think we're out of it. I do carry some, but I think we're out right now. Yeah, you know, once you get your knee done and you're walking straighter on this foot, this one will go away. So that when you're towing off as you're walking, you'll be doing it from the front of your foot instead of the side. Instead of the side. Right. Just notice you don't have this on your other foot right. where you had the knee done. Of your other bunion. Oh yeah, that, that bunion was removed once and it did come back. Yeah. I didn't do it, did I? No. Okay, good. Okay. Do it. <laughs> it was done. It was done in a clinic like this. Oh. Uh, with the bandage, that's all they put on it. Okay. Yeah. That's they call that minimal incision surgery. Yeah. A little teeny incision. So this one probably should be done too. Well, nothing should be done unless it's hurting you every day. So, if it's not giving you pain or stopping you from wearing shoes or doing the activities you want to do. But you can't wear pretty sandals. <laughs> well, I have, I have sandals with the Velcro on them that come over the right spots. But, so I can You know, you do whatever is control. comfortable. You know, if people have a problem with it, then yeah. too bad for them. Just be you. Very good. As my 20-year-old says, you do you. <laughs> How is she doing? She's doing great, thanks. Good. Yeah, two more weeks and they're done for the summer. We've got this week of classes and next week is finals. Mm -hmm. wow. Where is she going to school? She's at the... Oh, okay. I'm going to take that part out of the video. <laughs> I don't need people to know. Um, okay. Well,